Hey guys, it's me. I'm going to talk about some things that uh, happened over the weekend, some news. If you already don't already know that Nintendo's Mr. Awada died, he helped bring Mario, the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo moreover, NES system back in the 80s to the United States. It's a sad day for the gaming community and uh, he will be missed. He brought many different games to the United States and helped foster the gaming industry from early. Now he's gone. He passed away this past Saturday in Japan. In other unfortunate news, but fortunate I guess for the family, uh, New York City has agreed to pay the sum of $5.9 million to the family of Eric Garner over what happened, the choke out that happened last year. I have my comments about that. It's fucked up that a man had to lose his life and the way he did over on that video. In other dopeness, uh, we're getting images from Pluto. I'm pretty sure that will be overshadowed by some ratchet sh but Pluto. That's like nine years away from here. It took nine years for them to get out there to take those images and they shared it on Instagram. Who to think? Whatever. NASA. Winning. And the world and Iran has reached an agreement on some nuclear shit. I mean, Israel's supposed to feel safer? I don't know. This is just my opinion, once again. It's satire. It's what I, I laugh about sometimes when I read some of these news articles or whatever. But this is what it is. Iran and the world has reached a nuclear agreement. Finance news. China's stock is plummeting. I don't know what that's about. But after Chinese stocks started plummeting, they had to shut down Wall Street for about an hour or so last week. So I don't know if it's connected or not. But I'm just sharing the news that I find funny. Yeah, so I don't know if you saw it, but this thing about Donald Trump's uh, threatening some drug lord, talking about he will kick his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Dude said he would kick his ass. And then old buddy ran to the FBI after uh, someone tweeted back to him saying that El Chapo is coming for him. I mean, maybe El Chapo broke out of jail just to come get the dude since he was talking all that ish. I don't know. I'm just saying, watch your mouth sometimes. For those of you that have been paying attention, uh, Greece was about that life about a week and a half ago about, you know, they were going to do a referendum and they did a vote on, over everything or whatever. And then all of a sudden, some new deal. And it's very humiliating for Greece. What's that about, man? I mean, they got Trepis or whatever the... the Prime Minister's name is in a corner, a bigger referendum than what they had prior. That's what I'm reading from over here in the States. So I'm just giving you my point of view. You know, that's what really grabbed my gear. If if you're gonna go in there and ask for a better deal from what you had already and you know that this is what your people believe in you and you voted for, you should stand by it or whatever. You should stand by what you say. That's what kills me about politicians today, man. They offer you and promise you so many sugar honey so much stuff that they don't deliver on it because it's all a part of that game. You want to lie to the people, get more tax money so you can do whatever. All these bonds and stocks and stock monsters that, that's crashing, it's sad. Now nah, he has to face his parliament and try to persuade him to pass this bill on the stuff that they voted no for. You know, with the uh, the no votes over the yes votes, 60 to 30. But now he got to go home with this bull deal that saying it like he got f***ing his nuts cut off. I'm not in the man's shoes and not like that. I don't know what stress he's under, but I'm like, hey man, stick to If you're about that, stick to your stuff. Go back to your money, do what you need, your old version of your money, and do what you gotta do. I mean, if you, if the eurozone is not working out, you don't see that your people, your people will get out, your nation will get out of the debt that they're in. Then find some other other recourse, cause it's not gonna work out. But you took this deal, man, like a crackhead. But that's what ground my gear, so I'm gonna get off my soapbox.